You know, for the last few days, I've heard in my spirit, rebellious children, rebellious children. Now, I did a video where I told you, I just said that you're supposed to pray for your children and they may be going in a different direction, but this does not reflect on you. And then there are children that's rebellious against God and they hate everything God like. And what it is you have to ensure is that you just don't allow that to just, you see, there's certain things and limits with that. Yes, they're on say, but you don't allow them to curse God and speak against God in your presence. This is something that we correct. You understand? We don't want to be like Eli, okay, that he ended up, him and his whole household ended up dying because he just allowed his family to do, his sons to do whatever they wanted to do. You don't allow them to do whatever they want to do. They don't get to speak and curse your God under your roof and in your home. No, they do not. But I hear God saying, rebellious, we're in a rebellious generation, a rebellious generation. Children, teenagers of today are different. They are different. You see it in school bullying. You see it in the things that they're doing. There are children being killed by other students at school. Something, a sin has come upon the children. It's a spirit. And yes, the parents should have raised them different and did these things. But guess what? Those kids, those parents were raised a different way too. So there is a demonic spirit that's coming upon the house and it's going on generation to generation where they delight in wickedness, where they delight in evil, where they shed their, they, they, their feet are swift to shed blood. This, these are the individuals you got to pray over your family. Even if your kids are this way, pray for them. But I hear God say a breaking is coming. A breaking and a shaking is coming. Some of them going to go to jail. Some of them going to go to prison. God is speaking to their hearts now. But you see, if they continue, they're going to go there. And guess what? They're going to have to tone down. God, they can either choose God now or they're going to choose him behind bars. Some of them, other things will come. And God is not allowing me to speak on that. But as parents... Keep your children in prayer. As parents who have good, decent kids, your kids are not that bad, okay, still pray for others who have these children who have been, they are basically like a fox, that a foxtail on fire that's just lit to go do wrong. They are influenced by demonic spirits, my brothers and sisters. That's how you can read about kids that go and murder a kid and another child and they dismember their parents and they blast their parents' heads off. It's a demonic spirit. And a lot of these things are coming through video games. A lot of these things are coming through little things that they're watching on television. But the biggest thing is there's no Christ in their life. Because you know what? I grew up and I saw some crazy stuff coming up. And we turned out okay because we grew up in a household where our family was praying. I had a praying grandmother, I had praying parents, you know. I still went left. I still went in a whole different way. I still was sinful. I I don't count the time that I went up to the altar when I was a child and got saved. I don't count that. You know why? Because my parents, I, it's like I was in a church and I don't think my parents forced me, but you felt like you should have done it. So you do all those things that you're supposed to do, but guess what? You're doing it because yay, now we may get, you know, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get some attention. Well, not even attention because I got attention, but you know, yeah, this is what I'm supposed to do. But I knew nothing about the Lord. I never thought to seek God on my own. I prayed. I believed in God. I, I, once I stepped on uh, a little kitten by accident and I felt so bad and I prayed over it and it died. And I think that was one of the seeds where the enemy was like, you know what, this praying doesn't work. But what I'm trying to tell you is those of you who have parent, you, you need to listen, those of you who listen, your, your kids are not perfect, but they're not that far out. We got to pray for other people. We got to pray for them. Number one, you pray that your, your children do not meet up with these type of kids. And when they do that, they're covered under the blood of Jesus. Guys, there's a change that's coming. There's a change that's coming. We have to pray just a second, guys. We have to pray for everybody.
We have to pray for these children as well that's lost, that they will know the Lord. But God is saying there is a group, there is a different brand of children that's coming up in this world, that's coming up in this world, that's set to do wrong and evil. And it's generational things that's come down. And parents who did not have God in the house, parents who opened up themselves to demonic influences and to, and to Ouija boards and to demonic stuff. And those things come in and they get a hold of the children. Pray for these children because a great break-in is going to come. Guys, that's why sometimes in some cases you find that some children are dying early because children that are cursing their parents, beating their parents, beating their elderly, doing these different things. The word of the Lord says, honor your mother and father that your days may be long. Guys, what's happening? It's not that God is wicked, but when you are led by the demonic and dark spirit, a child that follows after unrighteousness and sin, their, their days will be cut short. I hear God saying, pray. Even if they're not your kids, pray for them. You pray for them that they will be delivered, that they will, that those that will be delivered will be able to get to God and know him. You also pray for your household that they don't run into these children because they're, they, they're there at the schools. They're there in the, in the neighborhoods. They're there in your church. Pray for discernment that your eyes are opened up. But I hear the Lord saying, pray, pray, pray. A different breed of children are coming up and they're influenced by the power of darkness. This is the word of the Lord today.